since you signed the contract, can you uh, tell us what went into your, what, what went into the decision to resign? What free agency was like for you? Uh, free agency was good, but at the end of the day, I, I felt like I wanted to be here. And I felt like the future was bright, and I wanted to just continue going. You know, playing for Tiz and playing with the same group of. Uh, teammates we had, you know, I feel like we have a great chance to be great again this year, so I just wanted to run it back. Do you feel like it was like some unfinished business to come back here? Uh, in, in a sense, I think so, just because that last year ended, so I guess I'm glad that we got another chance and I'm back, you know, that I can help out, so hopefully we can right our wrongs, you know. How was the chemistry with that second unit once Derek played? That's great, because we played all together last year, played in the playoffs, you know, and we brought it, everybody came back, so I think it's great chemistry. You know, we all play off each other very well, and we all talented basketball players and smart at the same time. So you know, we can feed off each other. So I think it's great chemistry. What, what do you think is the value in just you guys keeping that same group together for a second year and keeping that familiarity? I think it's just chemistry. I think it's it's, it's lacked in the league just because players move around so much, and I think it's, it's it's a big thing. You know, when you get on the court, if you have it off the court and you build it on the court, it shows, and I think it shows with our group because we all came back this year. If I was committing, you know, multi-year deals to yourself and Maryland's and Derek, uh, does that kind of show that the that the front office and the organization, you know, believes in what you guys did last year? I think so, and, and they believe in us as players and you know, uh, human beings. So it was great that they all uh, brought back ties, like you said, Derek, me, and New Orleans. You know, so it's a great thing. You you played a lot of minutes now with Manuel with me. What what do you feel like he's doing better now than he was last year? Uh. I mean, he had a, a, one of the great rookie years I've seen, you know. But uh, now I think he's just more calm, more poised. He's playing a little bit more one. I think a lot of people would think he don't keep, he can play the one. I think he can, and that's just my opinion. So I think he's just showing that that he's a capable point guard if needed. What does the addition of Kemba do for you guys for your backcourt? Uh, it's a smart, you know, Kemba, uh, well, all star, all NBA player. You know, he's a great player, great person off the court too. So it's just gonna take us to another level. But it should, you know. Last year you went into free. Uh, I thought I showed that a lot uh, two summers ago, but the corona impacted a lot of things, I felt like. But, you know, this year, I think with a, when your team win, everybody, you know, benefits from it. So I think that helped a lot. Did, um, what the, is it weird to, to be in a, a backcourt with three players who could be, I mean, I'm talking about the reserve unit with UZ, Rosen, um, quickly. I mean, you got the, you three guys could be, all be the ball handlers, right? I yeah. Mean, uh, no, nah, I did last year, so, <laughs> so I'm, I'm used to it. You know, but you want, that's what the want. You want people that can make plays for each other and make plays for themselves at any time on the court. And we got that in the second unit and in the first unit. What do you think this team has to do to build off of last year to improve? Uh, you know, you guys finished fourth in the lead last year and in the conference, but where do you think this team could be? Uh, I just learned from what we didn't do right last year. I know we was fourth and we had a great year, and we just learned from the mistakes we made. We could be better on both sides of the ball. And I think if we do that, we'll take another leap. Is, is there a bitter feeling with how last season ended in the playoffs? A bitter feeling? Uh, it happened. to me. I mean, to me, this is my opinion. It happened, it happened. It can't happen again, you know. It's over with. You just move forward, you know, with life. And hopefully it don't happen this uh, season. Right. Is that some experience you guys can, can learn from? Uh, yeah, we learn from it, but it's a whole, it's, it's, it's a new group, new players, you know, in a sense, we got a couple new players, so we have to build our own, you know, season this year. Last year is over with, can't look in the past. Just, sorry, one side, like, uh, kind of off topic, but you guys have a new ball, uh -huh. right? It's not the ball anymore, it's Wilson. You guys are creatures that have it. Is there any difference there? Uh, for me, I don't think so. It's just a basketball is a basketball, yeah. but I can see it, it affects a, a lot of different people. You know. Does it feel different? I think so. It feels different. And something that you've been using so long and you change is always going to be a little bit hesitant. But to me, it's just a basketball. All right. Thanks, Al. Yeah.